Hello and welcome to today's video in which we will go over the 10 most costly money mistakes you should avoid at all costs. We are all aware that managing our finances can be a daunting task, but it is critical to do so effectively in order to avoid financial pitfalls. Today we will be providing practical solutions to help you become good with money, whether you're just starting out or looking to improve your money management skills. So, without further ado, Let's dive in. First up is not having a budget. A budget is a financial plan that helps you track your income and expenses. Without a budget, it is easy to overspend and find yourself in debt. You may end up spending more than you earn, which can lead to financial stress and instability. Additionally, not having a budget can make it difficult for you to save money for emergencies or long-term goals, such as buying a house or retiring comfortably. It's also harder to make informed financial decisions when you do not have a clear understanding of your income and expenses. If you've recognized the problem of not having a budget and want to overcome it, you can begin by creating one. But do not worry, creating a budget is a straightforward process. It does not have to be difficult or time consuming. In fact, it is a critical step toward reaching your financial objectives. Consider your budget to be your financial roadmap. It allows you to see where your money is going and where you can make changes. It also gives you peace of mind knowing that you have control over your finances. So don't be afraid to use a budgeting app or a pen and paper. Trust me when I say that your wallet and sanity will thank you in the long run. The second challenge is one that is frequently overlooked but has a significant impact on our lives. Living beyond our means. Many of us make the mistake of living above our means. Although it may appear to be harmless at first, it can quickly lead to debt, financial stress, and a decrease in overall happiness. When you spend more than you make, you're effectively borrowing from your future self. You may not notice the effect right away, but it will eventually catch up with you. The good news is that there are solutions available. First and foremost, examine your financial situation. Make a list of all your expenses and income and look for areas where you can cut back. Perhaps you can reduce your cable subscription or begin bringing your lunch to work instead of eating out. Small changes can result in significant savings. Following that, prioritize your spending. Determine what's necessary and what's not. Is that new pair of shoes really necessary or can you put that money towards your savings or debt payments? Another suggestion is to create an emergency fund. Having money set aside for unexpected expenses can keep you from having to use credit cards or take out loans to cover the costs. Finally, exercise self-control. It is all too easy to succumb to impulse purchases, but remember your goals and the long-term benefits of living within your means. It is never too late to regain control of your finances. You can start living a financially stable life with a little effort and commitment. Do you have the problem of never having enough money to cover unexpected expenses? Do you ever resort to credit cards or loans when something goes wrong? The third hurdle is not having an emergency fund. Not having an emergency fund is a big mistake that can expose you to unexpected costs. Life is unpredictable and you never know when you will need extra money to cover an unexpected expense like a medical bill or car repair. Without an emergency fund, you may be forced to use credit cards or borrow money to cover unexpected expenses, which can quickly spiral out of control. It is time to break the cycle and start saving for emergencies. The first step is to devise a strategy. Determine how much money you need to save and set a goal. It is advised to have 3-6 to six months worth of expenses saved up. After that, prioritize your spending. Reduce non-essential spending and redirect the funds to your emergency fund. Keep in mind that this is not just another savings account. It should only be used in an emergency. Another recommendation is to automate your savings. So you don't have to think about it, set up a recurring transfer from your checking account to your emergency fund. Then, be persistent and patient. Building an emergency fund takes time, but it is well worth the effort. You will feel better knowing you are ready for whatever life throws at you. So get started right away. You never know when an emergency will occur, but you can prepare for it. The fourth challenge is failing to save for retirement. 
You may believe that retirement is a long way off and that you have plenty of time to save for it. However, the truth is that the sooner you begin, the better off you will be in the long run. Saving for retirement should not be put off until later because the consequences of not saving can be severe. Consider reaching your golden years and not having enough money to enjoy them because you did not plan ahead of time. This is a frightening thought for many people, but it's a reality. If you do not start saving early, you will miss out on the power of compound interest, which can significantly increase your savings over time. So, what can you do to avoid making this error? Begin putting money aside for retirement as soon as possible. The first phase involves creating a retirement strategy. Set a goal for how much money you will need to retire comfortably. It's never too soon to begin planning. Start contributing to a retirement account next. Start saving for retirement as soon as possible, whether it is through a 401, an IRA, or another type of account. Because of the power of compound interest, even small contributions can add up over time. Another approach is to gradually increase your contributions. Increase your retirement contributions to keep up with your income growth. After that, be consistent. Unless absolutely necessary, do not stop contributing to or withdraw money from your retirement account. Remember that retirement is a necessity, not a luxury. So act now and begin saving for your future. Now we will discuss the fifth hurdle, not having insurance. Insurance is essential because it provides a safety net in the event of unforeseen events such as accidents, illnesses, or natural disasters. You are vulnerable to significant financial loss without insurance, which can set you back for years. The answer to your concerns is simple. Get insurance. The first course of action is evaluating your requirements. What kind of insurance do you require? Some of the most common types are health insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, and life insurance. After that, go shopping and compare prices. Do not just take the first insurance policy you find. Conduct your research to find the best coverage for your requirements and budget. Another advice is to consider combining your insurance policies. Bundling multiple policies can result in discounts from many insurance companies. And then, be ready for the unexpected. Accidents and emergencies can occur at any time, so keep your insurance information readily available and up to date. Sixth, failing for get-rich-quick schemes can lead to financial ruin. We have all seen the advertisements promising easy money with little to no effort. It is tempting to believe that we can make a fortune in a short period of time, but the reality is that the vast majority of these schemes are frauds. In reality, these schemes are intended to take your money rather than make you rich. They frequently involve complex investment strategies or business opportunities that promise huge returns but necessitate large initial investments. How can you avoid becoming a victim of these schemes? To begin, be cautious of unsolicited messages or emails. Do not click on links or download attachments unless you are certain they are safe. From there, conduct your research. Before making a purchase or sharing personal information, make sure the company or website is legitimate. Use strong passwords and two-factor authentication as well. This can protect your accounts from unauthorized access. Ultimately, trust your instincts. If something appears too good to be true, it most likely is. Do not let the fear of missing out or the promise of easy money influence your decision. So, stay alert and remember these tips. You can avoid falling victim to online scams and schemes by exercising caution and common sense. The seventh challenge is failing to pay off credit card debt, which can quickly lead to debt spiraling out of control due to high interest rates. Due to high interest rates, credit card debt can quickly become unmanageable. If you only make the minimum payment each month, you may end up paying off your debt for years, and the interest charges can quickly add up. Always pay more than the minimum payment on your credit cards to avoid this complication. If you have multiple credit cards, start with the ones with the highest interest rates. Consider consolidating your debt into a lower interest loan if at all possible. This allows you to pay off your debt faster and save money on interest charges. Pay off your credit card debt first if you want to avoid a never-ending cycle of debt. 
pay more than the minimum payment every month, prioritize high interest debt and consider debt consolidation into a lower interest loan. The eighth common challenge is impulse buying. These can quickly deplete your bank account and leave you with items you do not truly require. It's all too easy to get caught up in the moment and make decisions based on emotions or short-term desires. Believe me, we've all been there. But do not worry, there are ways to avoid impulse purchases and save money. Make a list first. Write down a list of what you need and stick to it, whether it is for groceries or a shopping trip. Only deviate from the list if absolutely necessary. Set a budget next. Determine your financial limits and stick to them. Shopping should be avoided when you're emotional or stressed, as this can lead to overspending. Another piece of advice is to wait before making a purchase. Consider whether you really need the item and whether it is within your budget. Sleep on it and come back later if you're still convinced it is a good buy. Additionally, avoid going window shopping or browsing online stores without a specific goal in mind. This can lead to succumbing to temptation and making impulse purchases. The ninth strategic error is not investing in yourself. It is a setback that can limit your earning potential and career advancement. Many people make the mistake of ignoring their personal development and growth, which limits their earning potential and career advancement. So, how can you make an investment in yourself? Begin by identifying areas where you can improve. This could be accomplished through the completion of courses, certifications, attendance at conferences or networking events, or even the pursuit of a higher degree. Investing in yourself entails taking care of your physical and mental health. Make self-care a priority by getting enough sleep, exercising and taking breaks as needed. When you're at your best, you can give your best performance. Remember that investing in yourself is about more than just bettering your career prospects. It is also about raising your overall standard of living. Once again, investing in yourself is a critical step toward realizing your full potential and achieving your goals. So, invest in yourself and watch your career and personal growth skyrocket. Lastly, failing to seek help when needed. It is easy to think that we can handle everything on our own, but when it comes to finances, we sometimes need a little extra help. If financial difficulties are not addressed promptly, they can quickly spiral out of control, leading to more serious problems. Not to worry, there are numerous resources available to assist you in gaining control of your finances. Consult with a financial advisor or planner. They can offer personalized advice and assist you in developing a plan to achieve your financial objectives. Following that, look into online resources and educational materials. There are numerous websites and apps available that provide financial advice, budgeting tools, and investment information. Attending financial workshops or seminars is another option. Many community centers and financial institutions offer workshops on topics such as budgeting, investing, and debt management for free or at a low cost. Moreover, do not be afraid to seek assistance from financial savvy friends or family members. A new perspective can sometimes be just what you need to get back on track. Do not let financial difficulties overwhelm you. Keep informed, motivated, and financially savvy. That concludes our video on the 10 most costly money challenges to avoid. I hope you found the advice and solutions useful and educational. Remember that effective financial management is critical to achieving financial stability and success. You can save thousands of dollars in the long run by avoiding these common money hurdles. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or want to improve your money management skills, these practical solutions can help. So act now and begin making wise financial decisions that will benefit you for years to come. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.